Hello. We heard some of you haven't been happy with the boats the captain's been testing. You want boats that you can see in your driveway, boats that you can relate to. We've been listening. And frankly, we're going to ignore you. Because when you roll with a captain, you go on any fucking boat you want. Today, we're on the 68 Hatteras. Let's go for a ride. So the big 1650 horsepower cats, they push this girl along at about 30 knots max. She cruises at 20, say 25, burning about 450 litres of fuel. Now, before you choke on your Winnie Blues, consider this is a 60 ton boat. This thing is a game fishing battleship. So despite the mass of this boat, she only draws about one and a half metre in the back. So she does cruise comfortably at low speeds. You may need to take your mates fishing because this thing runs 8,000 litres of fuel. There's three tanks at the front and two day tanks at the back. So fuel gets pumped depending on what you're going to use for the day. That helps trim the boat out. She sounds fucking awesome. There's uh, underwater exhaust on this boat. Sound very cool. They are a little bit, a little bit noisy, but hey. When you're burning 450 litres an hour, you want to hear something for your money, don't you? So she's built for fishing and this whole cockpit area, you could basically fit the fishing area of a seven metre boat in here, but you're doing it in a lot more comfort. This tiered rear lounge system is just deluxe. There's heaps of storage underneath. There's refrigeration. You can just basically sit here in comfort and watch the spread. If you don't want to get sunburn or a bit of salt on your face, then just duck upstairs into the saloon absolutely deluxe saloon area with a giant window it's just like you can be watching narcos there and then just watch the spread there between the two it's deluxe if you like entertaining how's this giant galley that opens out to the saloon bar miguel would have an absolute field day in here there's four fridges a four burner stove a coffee machine and a dishwasher of course every boat should have a staircase and this one has a rather narrow one but it's, it's a staircase nonetheless it features timber from a tree that doesn't exist anymore. Hatteras has wiped them all out just to build this boat. But if you make your way up to this winding staircase, there's three deluxe helm chairs at the front. One for the skipper, one for the navigator, and one for the guy that never pays for fuel, but he's really funny down the pub, so he gets a gig every time. Upstairs in the flybridge, this whole area converts to a bed for the skipper. Under the lounge, you can store all the Tiagras. Uh, and there's even a wet bar and a fridge with an ice maker. How about the granite bench top? Inside, there's accommodation for 10. If only we had 10 friends. This 68 Hatteras is called Ningaloo and it's booked out for the entire season by me. So we're in the heartbeat of the Hatteras at the moment. We've got twin 1650 horsepower cats. These things are huge. They're actually laid on steel beams, which are laid into the, into the layup of the boat. So these babies are pushing some eight blade Michigan props. Apparently these babies are as wide as I am tall. Um, they're worth $50,000 each. Interesting thing about these props, they sit in tunnels under the hull. The reason they do that is to give the boat more positive drive. Good man, Will, don't be shy there. So this is a pretty special boat. I wish my father owned it. And in fact, that guy's father does own this boat. How cool is that? Will, come in here. Sorry, I don't mean to leave you out of the show, Will. This is Will. He got in contact with us and said, hey, do you guys want to come to WA? Jump on Dad's 68 Hatteras? I said, fuck yeah. So what else you got over there? He goes, well, I ride in Dad's other boat. It's the, uh, it's the 34 Regulator. It's like, okay, we'll be there tomorrow. I think we better go for a spin. Where are we going, Will? Let's go to Rotto. Oh, off to bloody Rotto again. Let's go. <laughs> So the truth of it is, the captain are just a pair of shit gig, as we know that could, it took us three years to finish a 15 foot boat. So the truth is, I'm gonna be serving Will. There you go, mate, have a champagne. So Will's only 14, so we're gonna, he's gonna be drinking Coke today, but let's hear it from Will. Uh, so, hi, my name's Will Reynolds. I'm still in school. I, um, my uh, dad's lucky enough to co-own this 68 Hatteras and the owner of the 34 Regulator. So the uh, Regulator is a Regulator 34 SS. It's just, just under three metres wide, uh, just uh, under 11 metres long, and it uh, has 900 horsepower on the back. Uh, on the back, it's got a triple 300 Yamaha V6 offshore engines paired with the Helmmaster joystick system. 
it uh, propels a boat along pretty nicely to a top speed of about 54, 55 knots. And um, when, it, when it comes in to slow down back into the eight knot zone and come back to the, uh, the jetty, you know, the joystick makes it uh, just a flick, of a flick of the wrist and you're straight back in easy as. Yeah, so today was a very fun day. Very fortunate to be able to uh, get, get you guys to come out and have a bit of fun. We uh, had a few times there where we went fully airborne. We had uh, went out to some pretty rough swells offshore. We uh, tried to have a fish, you know. No luck there, but that's all right. The uh, regulator 34 SS. Now SS means starboard seating. So there's it, where the, usually in a center console, the typical fashion is where it has two walkways, and, but in this model it only has one walkway, but on the other side is replaced with a, a bait prep station, which is a, just essentially a large sink, which it, and um, storage as well. Now this is kind of suited for people that are not fishing 24 seven, but also want to be able to have a, an area to put stuff and drinks and all that kind of gear, and uh, still have 270 degrees of fishability. It's not very traditional of a center console, I guess you could call it weird. Um, when we first looked at the regulators, we were a bit unsure, but as we went out and demo rides, and we realized that that was the right way to go. Yeah, the reason why we ended up going with the regulator is we weren't quite unsure what we want, coming from a 35 Worldcraft with twin 350 Yamahas. We, um, coming out of that, we wanted a boat that we could handle heavy seas, and when you, when you, put, your, when you put the stick down, it uh, starts to boogie along. So but the uh, regulator came up from one brokerage, and uh, that you know, seemed to tick all the boxes for us as um, you know, when we want to go to Roto, we take the family across, or we use it as a tender for the Hatteras. One of the features that were on the 34SS when it ri arrived from North Carolina was something called the cruising package, which included a microwave and a cooktop, which uh, is powered by a 1000 watt inverter. I think it's got forward seating with storage underneath. Now that storage underneath is all plumbed to be able to use as a fish box when you do go fishing. And it also, when you do decide not to go fishing, there's cushions that go out there with a uh, with pop-up backrest and stuff. So when um, you know you can have the girls in the front uh, having a sunbathe where you're doing all the fun stuff in the back. 1,325 litre fuel tank, which uh, when you run down to the servo just out down here, it's probably about two grand for a complete fill-up, or about 1,800 bucks. Yeah, it's a Yamaha's for being 4.2 litre V6s. They are very economical pushing at about cruising speeds of about 30 knots, probably doing under 120 litres per hour all up, so. Um, you seem to know a lot about boats. You're 14 and you get to steer this 34 foot boat. What do your mates think? Uh, they, they're a bit like, how do you get to do that? But I've showed that I, I believe that I um, know enough to be able to pilot it and um, at the end of the day, lucky enough to be able to. So this is, as we call it, the best seat in the house. It's a release game chair that uh, came in only last year. It's uh, all, cu all custom made for this boat uh, in Georgia, in the USA. You can sit there, it's a work of art. You can sit there and just stare at it as, uh, as I've done a few times.